Now we're on to video. And when I first started to think about doing video, I was excited but nervous. I had did video a couple years ago, but it was kind of minor and for only specific platforms. I didn't really do it for all the platforms that I care about, mainly YouTube. I had never really worked with the YouTube API. One of the reasons I don't like these type of examples is that they're using libraries. Anytime you use a library to, to do something, I'm usually not a fan of it in particular. It obfuscates out a lot of what needs to be done. Now, of course, if the library is good, you can go down and read the classes and attributes and things like that to really know like kind of what's going on. And I actually do like those things sometimes, but then I just don't like relying on a library for something I may be doing very small, right? Like if I'm just uploading something, I don't want your whole library just for doing a simple upload. I'm taking the access token, the video path, the title, the description, things like that, and the privacy status. Uh, and then I'm sending that all in to a request. One cool thing that I do like about the YouTube API is that you can just read directly from your device. So we have here the React Native file system. I can be able to read a file from there and then put that into the request uh, to basically upload this, which is pretty cool. Coming across this and it just working just off the bat was awesome. However, when I went across X or Twitter or whatever you're gonna call it, I had stumbled across a pretty big issue. When I tried to upload to X, it gave me an issue regarding the audio codex. When I was using the phone emulator to make that video, it used an audio codec of 3GP. Converting an image's resolution, that's one thing, but converting video, I, I, I think that's a little bit outside of the scope of this project. It should say unsupported audio codec because I had to go in and make it so that it can read out what the actual audio codex is. We have our main application.kt file, which has the main application class. I basically just added this one little line for adding in my package. I had to import in a couple different things from Android, specifically the media extractor and media format. And I basically used that to get the audio codex. And that's what this function is essentially here. If we go to the media extractor, it basically reads out your media essentially. It facilitates extraction of DMUX and typically included media data from a source. Um, it can do video, audio, a bunch of different things, right? And so I use that along with the mediaformat.keymime to basically find out the exact audio codec string. And when I got that done, that completed all the testing needed for doing text, image, and posting to the main platforms that I wanted.